Thank you so much. I'm like overwhelmed. <laughs> it's just the pouring of love right now. I'm almost in tears. <laughs> um, but it's it's a uh, it's 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 here. <laughs> the moment that I have finally decided to run for city council, and I've done it because of encouragement from everyone. Um, because I want to make a difference, just like Heidi said. I want to make take Memphis into its 200th year with fresh progressive leadership that's going to be a representation of everybody in this city. I, I don't care what your race is. I don't care who you love. It's a matter of this city embracing everyone from the areas of Harbor Town to Klondike to, 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 to Midtown to, to, to New Chicago. This is my district, and, and you guys have come from all, even beyond my district, to be here and support me. And that means something, because some of you can't even vote for me. <laughs> but you're here to support me, because love you. I love you. <laughs> and because you're here to support me, and you know that if you support me and advocate for me and talk about me and spread the word, because there's going to be people that you do know that live in this district, and you encourage them to vote for me, I'm going to vote in every way with the highest level of integrity and honesty and whatever's going to make Memphis better. You guys that follow my Facebook, I'm sure you probably get sick of seeing Memphis stuff on my Facebook. But no. that's, that. no, right? No, 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 because it's, I'm passionate about the city. I am. But so many areas have been forgotten in the city. We see great new development, billions of dollars going into the city, but we've got some areas that tires and trash have been sitting on the side of the streets for months, if not years. We have houses that have been sitting there that code enforcement can't get to because we don't have the, enough staffing in the code enforcement department to be able to clean up our city and hold people accountable and, 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 and help people that need help. Not everybody can mow their yard. I met a lady, I'm a claims adjuster. I meet people all the time, I go into their home and I meet people all the time in worse times, like their houses are caught on fire or they're getting flooded, and they're, they're, they're needing a shoulder to cry on at that moment, and I meet people at that moment. And I met a lady just the other day, she was an elderly lady in Frazier, and she said, she goes, I'm sorry when you get here, my yard's too high, I didn't even get a chance to mow it before it got cold, and she goes, and I really don't have the money to pay somebody. That's what we're facing here in Memphis, guys. We've got so many sweet people and, and residents all over the city that are just, that, that haven't seen this billions of dollars in development or these opportunities that me, you and I have right now. So I want to be a voice for everybody. I want to go to City Hall. I don't want to be that voice for everybody. I want to be as, as level-headed and, and be all ears as I can. One of the best things I knew about Memphis, that, that I feel about Memphis is that no matter where you go, and all these people that I meet and all these people here in this, room, this building tonight, everywhere you go, People, when you walk in in Memphis, you feel like you just got a big hug. They don't physically hug you, but you feel like you get a big hug. And that's because Memphis has heart. We're one of the most charitable cities in the nation. And I want to be part of that heart. And I want to represent that heartbeat at City Hall. So I ask that everybody, please support me. They'll give me all your love that you've always given me. And, and let's, let's win this District 7 election. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I can't do it without you. I can't do it without my, my friends, my family, and